Our coverage of Heart Month continues tonight, and 8 News anchor Amy Lacey goes inside the OR for a delicate and very technical procedure. Cardiac surgeons are now having more and more success with repairing heart valves instead of replacing them with an artificial one. I recently sat in on a minimally invasive procedure, and tonight I take you inside the operating room to see it for yourself. It's 9 a.m. in the OR, and preps for the procedure are in their second hour. The patient today is a 59-year-old man with a condition called mitral valve regurgitation. Simply put, the valve doesn't close properly between his heart's upper and lower left chambers, causing blood to leak backwards towards the lungs. People can get short of breath because it inhibits the blood from coming out of the lungs into the heart. It makes the heart enlarge and eventually leads to heart failure. If you think of the valve as sort of like a parachute and with these cords are like the strings on a parachute that support the valve. And in this patient, some of those strings have ruptured. So it's time for Dr. Mark Hatz to go in and and repair the so-called strings. He says a procedure like this used to mean cracking the breastbone and opening up the chest to get hands-on with the heart. But now, in the days of the Da Vinci robot, it goes like this. I watch as several half-inch incisions between the ribs become an entry point for the surgical tools. Ten feet away, Dr. Katz takes the controls, watching his work inside the body, magnified on a monitor overhead. He uses Gore-Tex sutures and places a ring around the valve to create a seal. All right, what's the cautery on? Dr. Katz tells me a decade ago, a repair like this was almost unheard of. And oftentimes, cardiac surgeons did not even see a patient until there was extensive heart damage. But now there's more of a push to be proactive instead of reactive to symptoms when it might be too late. In the last few years, our ability to repair valves went from the national average of about 50 percent to well over 90 percent now and it's clearly better for patients if we can repair their valve as opposed to replacing it recovery time for the procedure you just saw takes about a week compared to several months for open heart surgery so patients are able to get back to their daily routine much faster amy lacy eight news